I had just finished a long semester of school and went to visit a friend. When we got there, he had some marijuana. Which I had smoked before, and wasn't always against it. After taking two deep inhales, I immediately knew something wasn't right. I knew that it wasn't entirely marijuana. I started to feel my heart rate increase. I stood up and tried to walk around to see if it would help. Within five minutes, I knew it wasn't good. I turned to my friend and told him to call 911 because I was having a heart attack. He told me to try to calm down and that I was just having a bad trip. I immediately responded that I knew the difference and this was something very physical. He had me walk outside with him to get some fresh air. But as we stepped out onto the grass, I knew that my heart was beginning to pound even harder and that it was harder to breathe. My friend called 911. I remember telling him that if I passed out to tell them everything. That it could save my life. I remember at that moment, I knew I was going to die. It became so real to me the phrase, you never know when your time will come. I was so aware that I was 28 and my life was going to end. The only regret I had was that I hadn't called my parents that day. I remember hearing the lady on the other end of the phone asking my friend what I was doing. He just kept telling her that I was clutching my chest and breathing deeply, she had us go outside on the grass so that the ambulance could find us. The ambulance was having a hard time finding us. I remember hearing the ambulance off in the distance and as I lay down on the grass, I turned to my friend and told him that if the ambulance did not get there soon I was going to die. At about that time a fire truck arrived. In which a few men stepped out and started asking questions. I started to realize the complete urgency of my situation and that I was dying. I couldn't fully answer their questions. As they stood around me, I remember shouting out, help me. They replied, we have nothing to help you with. In minutes, the ambulance finally arrived and within no time, I was on a stretcher. My heart pounding near out of my chest, breathing labored. The paramedic began asking me questions, in which I was not able to answer. At that moment I remember feeling my heart start pounding even harder and I knew that I was about to die. I couldn't take it anymore, and I said the words, God, I'm ready to go home. As the last word ended, the lights went completely out and everything was completely quiet. I felt the calmness come over me. Calm I had never felt in my life. Just utter peace. Time stood still, linear time did not exist. I did not have a thought going through my brain. It was pure calm. At that moment, an intense bright light began to envelope me. I remember how good I felt, with this light and pure calm that was around me. Then as the light began to increase and the calm began to increase, then out of nowhere a voice said, you're not ready yet. I remember realizing I had a body that this wasn't all I remembered and I said the exact words, I'm not ready yet. Instantly I was back in my body, I could feel my heart again. The paramedic yelling around me, he's having a heart attack. After that, I looked up. They had cut my shirt off, I had all stuff attached to my chest, a breathing tube in my nose. IVs were hooked up into my hands and arms. After that, I awoke in the hospital to the doctors and nurses around me. They were talking and asking me questions in which I had no idea what the answer was. I went back out of it. I awoke a few hours later. A nurse at my side asked me what day it. It was so difficult to answer, but it eventually came back to me. A few minutes later, I heard a voice that I recognized out in the hall. It was one of the paramedics. He came in and said he was glad to see me alive. We talked for a few minutes and I thanked him for saving my life. After I left the hospital the only word and resounding feeling I had and could take from the whole ordeal was love. I knew deep down that our sole purpose on this earth is to love, to love deeply and strongly. Life is love. I will take that with me for the rest of my days. I am not afraid of death at all anymore. I know that an afterlife awaits us that is beyond anything our human minds can comprehend. On a side note, 
One other thing that has always stood out in my mind concerns growing up with a Christian upbringing. I had always heard of heaven as home but had never really used the term. When I was near death and I said, God, I'm ready to go home, I knew with all my heart that my soul had taken over. My soul was ready to return to its home. We are all here as a lease, to fulfill a purpose and when that purpose has been fulfilled, we will return home. 